Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. We got a special request today. This is the Scorpion Capital Vessel. Today's design is a special case because it's not a request by the actual creator of it. However, it is a request by Rustimus for me to cover this one because he feels it's a great design. This is the Scorpion, and it is an Unlock Level 25 Size Class 1 capital vessel coming to us from creator Herkimer, or Herkimer, I'm not sure which way he wants it pronounced. And this is definitely a smaller sized capital vessel. Now this is a capital vessel, but it's a bit more like a SV in design, and there's only one way in or out. That is through this ramp here at the back, but coming up, immediately we have an oxygen station, an armor locker, and a medic station, plus we have a nice little decorative console back here and some of our fuel tanks. Coming to the top of the elevator, we enter into the main area where we have our clone chamber direct in front of us. To our right we have a toilet, repair station, fridge, we have a food processor and an advanced constructor, and underneath the food processor and fridge are cargo boxes. To the other side we have a shower, we also have two bunk beds and ammo bots. We have our gravity generator, a more decorative console stuff right here in the middle. And coming down the stairs, we have access to a actual bedroom type area with a closet. And on this side, we have lower access to the two cargo boxes I mentioned earlier, as well as of course our advanced constructor. Here you can see we have a door into a small cockpit with the main pilot seat. However, on each side of this door, are additional pilot seats instead of passenger seats. So technically, you can pilot this facing backwards. Again, the Scorpion is an unlock level 25 size class one capital vessel. It comes with five fuel tanks, giving you a total of 13,500 fuel in capacity. And as you can see here with the thrusters turned off, I have just under 27 hours of use. It comes with two oxygen tanks, giving you 2,002 in capacity and only needs 296 to fill it up. And of course, it only requires the one ventilator to fill up the small inside space. It also comes with, of course, the one oxygen station, one medic station, and one clone chamber. Unlike other small capital vessel designs, this one's actually fairly well armed, with four pulse lasers, two rocket turrets, and two pulse laser turrets. It also carries a total of three cargo boxes and three ammo boxes, along with the one fridge, one food processor, and one advanced constructor. Now with this size, it's not too expensive on most of the building resources. While it is a smaller CV, I would not term it a starter CV because of the restroom and Zascosium requirements. And of course, with some of the other design choices is where you're going to see the unlock level 25 come into play. However, if you're interested in trying this as a starter CV in your own game, I suggest taking out the weapons first. That way you can cut down the restroom and Zascosium needs. Once again, this was a request not by the creator, but by Rustimus for me to cover this design because he thought it was really well done. I do like the design of the ship itself. It has a very nice shape and I like the fact that it technically can be piloted forwards or backwards. It's also very compact and streamlined. However, of course, as I said, the weapon choices and some other design elements make it a little bit too costly for it to be a starter CV. There is also a notable lack of parking space for your hover vessels and small vessels, meaning you will be restricted in what you can carry with you on the ship. So once again, this is the Scorpion by Herkimer or Herkimer. Again, I'm not sure which way it's supposed to be said. If you would like to try this ship out in your own game, I will have a link in the description below. And if you try it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page. That is it for today's workshop showcase. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.